This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F-250 Crew Cab, 6.0 turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which means it's leather. Uh, it's a clear title. Um, it came directly from a dealer who is not able to get financing for vehicles with over 100,000 miles. It's a new car dealer here in Tucson, bought directly at the auction here, the Mannheim auction. And uh, when we bought it, uh, we bought it right because it had a real bad miss going through the auction. I already knew what it was because we do so many of these. Uh, it was an injector. It turned out it was two injectors. So it's got two brand new injectors. Uh, it also needed two brand new front tires. Uh, the rears were okay. The fronts were bad. Uh, it's got an eight foot flatbed with a uh, fifth wheel hitch. It's got a really nice custom uh, front bumper. It's got dings and nicks pretty much everywhere. It's not a bad looking truck, but uh, cosmetically, you know, it's not even worth doing all the little things. Uh, it's a work truck, it's a tow truck, and that's it. I'm gonna walk around and show you. See how the wheels are kind of dinged up. Like I said, brand new tires. Obviously, this thing was an FX4 package also, because it does have the Rancho suspension, but you don't have the bed on it anymore, so you don't see the FX4 stickers. But uh, that's a factory add on the Rancho suspension. If you were to walk around this thing with a little touch up paint, you could probably clean this up quite a bit if you wanted to. I, I did see a block heater plug for it too, I think. Yeah. There's a block heater plug for it. If you're going to go anywhere cold, I don't think that applies in Tucson right now. Since we're looking at one, what, 12 this weekend? Little nick here, a couple here. Like I said, I, I can run through this thing. Uh, I'll be forever looking at stuff that cosmetically. Uh, it's really my job to make sure that people know what they're buying. So, you know, most of our people are from out of state. They've got to get a really good idea of what they're buying. If they're going to wire us money and ship it, especially. So I can't uh, leave stuff out. Otherwise, they're going to be very upset with me. Here, a couple down here. Uh, we do a hundred, about a hundred HD pictures. Also, these little railings come out. I'm sure we're going to hear some rattling uh, during the video when I take it for a ride. So just to expect that. Here's the uh, driver or the passenger rear tire. It was probably a farm vehicle of some sort. That's what I'm guessing. And they just decided they didn't want to do the injectors because, of course, the dealer charged you a billion dollars to do injectors when it's really not that big a deal. And that's some guard protecting the rear window, too. That's an expensive uh, uh, fifth wheel. Flatbed. I would probably get some rear tires. This rear tire is not in good shape. Maybe just one tire. Probably all I would do at this stage. Ding right here. And I see one right here. And I'm gonna open the hood. Let you listen to it run. Man, it's freaking hot today, boy. Today it's only supposed to be 107. So it's pretty pretty much sissy weather at 107. 112? That's amazing. Alright. There's your uh, Ford emblem right here. So you know that that's the original fender. Right there between my fingers is the uh, Ford stamp on the core support. You know that's original. Board right there. And board right there. I show you that stuff so that you know that all the front end parts are original. It hasn't been crashed and replaced and stuff. They don't replace them with Ford parts when they crash cars. There's your uh, driver rear window motor. Let's see, we got a little nick right here. Overall, you know, the 
looks like it was a work truck. This is like in the dye. It's not even, the, you can't even feel that stuff. It's just in the dye. It's actually not too bad in the back. Go to the other side, try the... Uh, that's the driver or passenger rear window. It's so hot, it's hard to kind of concentrate right now. Make sure there's no surprises there. Nothing there. I always like to look under stuff to make sure there's nothing hidden. Headliner looks good. It's looking like it's missing the uh, little deal in the uh, upper center console that holds stuff. Stash thing. Power seat. Forward, back, full seat down, full seat up, seat back cushion up, seat back cushion down, front seat cushion down, and up. That looks fine. A little bit of die wear here, but the seat feels fine. This looks like we did an insert right here on this. I bet we did an insert on the driver's seat too. I'll just go around and see that. We do have a manual. Make sure there's nothing going on under here. I don't see anything happening there. Alright, let's do these controls real quick. Driver window down and up. Passenger window. Passenger rear window. Driver rear window. Let's see, door locks. That works. Mirrors. Out. In. Up. And down. Let's see, I missed a little button that goes on this, but it works. Back, forward, full seat up, full seat down, front seat cushion up, and down. Rear seat cushion up, and down. That works fine. And as expected, yeah, this is definitely, this, this piece right here, is an insert that we did a repair on. It's got a little bit of a beginner tear there. Other than that, it looks fine. Got a tilt wheel, that works fine. I would say you need a rear tire, drive a rear tire. And uh, this has got some real old tint on it. See how it's kind of got that, you, you could peel that off and it would just be clear glass if you wanted to. It still works for the heat, so we left it on. All right, let's see. I don't know how to work the radio, I never do. There it is. Let's see, volume, volume, I don't know. Let's see. Don't know how to work the radio. Well, assume it doesn't work. If it does, it does. I bet it does, but I don't know how to make it work. All right, air's blowing ice cold. Check the, yep, that goes, yep, fan's working right. Let me turn it up since it's a lazy, dude. It's too hot. There's your center console, let's look in there. Cup holder. All right, let's see. Obviously we have cruise control. The cruise control doesn't light up on a Ford dash when, you just, when you're parked, you gotta be driving. Cluster. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It says 106,667.4. The glare is just brutal. Let's see. 
There you go. There's the whole cluster. Let's see. Tow haul. There's on and off with the tow haul button. See that? Alright, let me put it in neutral. Put it into four low. Let's see, there's four low there. Let me put it into drive. Oh yeah, that's definitely four low. Granny here there. Put it reverse. And that's reverse. Alright, let's go to four, four high. Now we're in four high. Put it to drive. Reverse, perfect, and the neutral, and let's go for a ride. All right, so because it's not a clear title, it's not a theft recovery, we don't have to do an inspection on it. So if you come to Tucson, all you're gonna have to do is pay dock fee of $250 and taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay a total of 5% taxes plus uh, $250 dock fee. If your state tax rate is zero, like Alaska, you're going to pay 2% tax and uh, $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. I can hear that those side rails. Hear them? I'm going to be quiet. You can listen to them. So once you get it there, you should take those off because that will drive you crazy metal on heavy metal on metal bouncing around on those side rails. Okay, it runs great. Very strong. Uh, so, uh, if you're going to pay by wire and ship, all you have to pay is agreed upon price. It doesn't need to be uh, title restored because it's a clear title. Um, there are no taxes or dock fees if you uh, pay by wire and ship. Once we have full payment, we'll mail you the title. Um, Fred is our recommended shipper. He has uh, Beacon Shipping Logistics. His number uh, is in the middle of our ad. Give him a call. It'll give you a good idea of what the shipping cost will cost. Well, he'll give you the exact number of what it costs to ship. Uh, I suggest using him uh, as he communicates well with some of these knucklehead truckers. Uh, and when they don't show up and other brokers lie about things, he doesn't. He tells the truth. He's a really good guy. Please go with him. Also, um, get your deposit. Without a deposit, we don't have a deal. Once we have a deposit, your uh, deposit will, sign will show up over the vehicle on our website. So you'll know it's not for sale to anybody else. And then uh, uh, also, uh, please make sure if uh, you're from eBay that you know you're not buying a brand new truck. It's kind of obvious, but lately, not so obvious to people on eBay. This is not a new truck. It looks to me like it was a ranch truck of some sort. Um, mechanically, it's great. Uh, cosmetically, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not embarrassing or anything, but uh, but you know, it's never going to be a beauty. Uh, it runs good. The air blows ice cold. Uh, that's about it. Uh, we've known it for about 30 miles of its life. It's got 106,000 miles, so there's no way anyone could possibly know about everything that's going on that's that. So if you're an eBay person who's looking to make a good deal on a, on a good tow truck that you don't have to worry about dinging up, this is the one. If you're the eBay person that thinks they're going to get a brand new truck for this price, you're insane. Please stay away. Okay. Thank you very much. And that is all.